All right, in this video, let's talk about how to set up your DeFi high yield savings coin, getting 20% APR. Welcome back friends, my name is Catherine and on this channel, I talk about DeFi and Web3. And today I wanna to talk about the more conservative side of DeFi. And not politically, I mean a high yield savings account that you can set up to earn a stable and consistent 20%. Now, if you've been in DeFi for a bit, 20% is nothing that exciting. But if you've been sitting on the sidelines scared of crypto volatility, this one could be for you. Disclaimer, this video should not be taken as financial advice. I'm just giving you information about projects that I like. So in this video, we're gonna look at setting up Terra Station, getting UST, depositing it into Anchor Protocol and earning yield starting today. This is something that you can set and forget. You don't have to keep coming in and checking it. You can literally leave it just like your savings account. Now, given the average savings account in the US these days is 0.5% per year, this is gonna be 20 times better than that with really not much extra work. Now, firstly, let's go over Anchor Protocol and talk about what it is, what it isn't, and then I'll show you exactly how to get started. So Anchor Protocol is a savings protocol based on the Terra blockchain that provides its users with low volatility, consistent 20% yields. Anchor Protocol serves as a money market, so it connects lenders and borrowers of stable coins. So the lender can deposit their stable coins onto the platform for lending, and they're gonna earn interest on it. And the borrowers can borrow these stable coins by providing stakeable assets like Ethereum or Luna as collateral. Now, the protocol can generate at least 24% of revenue on these deposits. And as the loans are over collateralized, the staking rewards are inflated, which enables them to give this high interest rate. And even though the system can generate over 20% in returns, by fixing it at 20%, Anchor ensures a dependable and stable yield. So first, let's walk through Anchor Protocol dashboard and I'll show you exactly what is what. All right, so this is the Anchor Protocol dashboard and I'll kind of walk you through each part. So the top number here, this is the total amount of assets that they have locked up in their protocol. So right now they have 5.2 billion and that is made up of just over 2 billion in total deposits. So this is UST that's been put in and is earning an interest. And then there is collateral. So there's 3.1 billion in collateral and this is either uh, Luna or Ethereum that has been put in to serve as collateral if you want to take out a loan. Now, if you look down here, you'll see the same total deposit, and then you'll see that the borrow is actually only 1.16 billion. Meanwhile, they have 3.1 billion in collateral. That is because all the loans that come out of Anchor Protocol need to be over collateralized. So for example, if you wanted to take out 50,000 USD, you would have to have 100,000 in Luna or Ethereum so that if anything happened, they would be able to liquidate those assets in order to pay back that loan. And you can see here that this is going up over time, which is a good thing. And the UST inside of Anchor is earning a deposit of 19.51%. Now Anchor always wants to be paying a consistent yield. So it always wants to be paying, you know, 19 to 20% to their uh, people that have the money in their protocol. And so to do this, Oftentimes during the good times, during the bull run, they can make more than 20% on their money, but they want to make sure it's consistent, it's not going up and down. So any extra that is made above this 20% is put into the yield reserve. So they have over 70 million in the yield reserve so that in times when they can't get that 19.5% or higher, they will dip into this yield reserve to be able to pay that consistently. And then when they can get more than that, they will um, be able to replace that money into the yield reserve. Now, Anchor is the governance token for Anchor Protocol, which can be used for a few things like voting, staking, uh, liquidity pooling. Just like any other DeFi project, this is their token. And you can create pol polls and do things in governance with it. Um, and it's also used as a way to pay um, interest when you borrow. So for example, if you look here, you can see that the borrow APR, so if you wanna borrow UST, you're paying 24.22%, but you're also being given 24.23% in Anchor Protocol token. So it's essentially break even 
to borrow money because they want to pay you out in the anchor protocol token so that is a high apr to borrow money at obviously but they pay it back with their tokens and these are the two collaterals that they allow so they allow ethereum and luna but in this video i'm not really going to be talking too much on the taking a loan out i really want to just show you how to set up a high yield savings account so if you're doing nothing else you're still earning you know 19.5 percent on your money now once you actually put money into anchor protocol you will be able to see it on this page so uh, you will connect your wallet using Terra wallet and everything will be shown in here so you can see if you stake your anchor tokens you can make 11% if you created a liquidity pool so anchor UST you would make 38.9% and then just to borrow is 24.23% so that's the type of um, thing that we're talking about and if you can see here the borrow is 24.23 so they're making 4.23 percent on the money that you have in there and they're giving you almost 20 percent so i'm going to show you how to set up the wallet and everything else but first let's talk about one important thing back to me now we have that done let's show you how to get started but before that let's make sure that you understand the full picture because Getting consistent 20% yield is not without no risk. Uh, we're still early in DeFi after all. So let me go through what the risks are. Number one is smart contract risk. As with any DeFi protocol, there is a risk of a hack. And to counter this, Anchor has done multiple audits and there has been a bug bounty program that's been really good and they have actually never been exploited. So as far as that goes, I feel pretty safe putting my money into Anchor. Number two is UST DPEG. So UST is an algorithmic stablecoin that's pegged to the dollar. So UST should equal $1. And the price is maintained through arbitrage of Luna and UST. If UST loses its peg, it can cause losses. So if it's 0.98, obviously you are gonna lose some money. Luckily, this has only happened a couple of times and it quickly regained its peg. So in my opinion, UST is as safe as any other stablecoin in the ecosystem. Lastly is loan liquidation. So just like other DeFi protocols like Aave or Compound, if your collateral falls below the value of the loan, you will be liquidated. And that's why I suggest that you don't go above 45% of your LTV because liquidation happens at 60%. So this is really not really a risk. It's more like, don't be dumb. All right, now you know all that, let's jump into how to get your account set up. All right, so the first part of getting set up on Terra is of course setting up your wallet. And to do that, you wanna to go to station.terra.money. There is a Chrome extension and a desktop version. I would suggest you get both. Now I'm just doing this for the purpose of showing you how to set it up. But as you see here, this is my Chrome browser, which I only use crypto stuff on my Brave browser, but I just wanted to show, show it to you. And since I've already set it up on Brave, I didn't wanna to have to uh, disconnect everything and start over. So. I will show you once it's set up everything that's going on over there. Okay, first thing you want to do is connect your wallet. Now, if you have a ledger, you can access it right without even downloading, but I would recommend that you download Terra Station so that you can get the full access to everything that you need to do. Now, this is the desktop version. As you see, it looks exactly like Chrome Web App. Once you come on here, you can select a wallet. So I've previously set up a couple of examples just to test it. Uh, you can set up a new wallet. Uh, you can recover an existing wallet or just import your private key. Now, I'm just going to pretend that I haven't set up a previous wallet. So zero to DeFi um, example two. One thing you'll need is a password. So if you're not using a ledger, which I would recommend, you will need a password to confirm transactions. So let me just... Okay, and this is my seed phrase. So this seed phrase, you would want to copy this and put it into maybe the safe at home. You want to write it out. You want to put it somewhere safe because if you lose the seed phrase, you will not be able to get access to your wallet. Now, something that I think is really helpful for crypto is maybe saving most of it inside of a uh, one password. So I love one password for a bunch of reasons. You can create secure notes in there. So everything's encrypted. And maybe you put, you know, most of the words in and you leave the last two out. I don't know. But that's something you could try um, if you wanted to be, you know, super, super secure. So let's just copy this. I'll just paste it in here. And uh, now that I say I've securely written it down and I've saved it, 
Now I have to confirm it. All right, so this is my wallet. So you can see up here, this is my wallet address. So just like on MetaMask, where it has your wallet name and address at the top, this is the same on Terra Station. So this is the address that you'll use when you're bridging over, you know, friends from another network um, or sending money between wallets, whatever it is that you wanna do. So that's the first part is getting your wallet set up. You'll see the price of Luna. Luna is the Ethereum of the Terra network. So Luna is what you pay fees with. It's what, you know, runs the network. It's what you stake in order to become a validator. Um, so basically to be able to use Terra, you will need to have some Luna in your account. And UST, which you can see here, is the stable coin of Terra. So it's the USDC of the Terra network. And I'm gonna show you in a bit how to actually bridge over and use UST with Anchor Protocol. So now that we have our wallet set up, we want to bridge our assets over to uh, the Terra ecosystem. So the assets you can send across, you can look at here, but you'll notice that there's none of the standard um, stable coins. So the stable coin you want to use is UST, which is the Terra version of USD. So you'll have to swap out, you know, DAI or USDC coin into UST to be able to use it on the Terra system. So what I'm going to do is I have a bunch of USDC coin that I'm going to switch out for UST. Let's put it, let's just, all right. So once this is switched out to UST, I can then bridge it over to Terra. All right. So now the swap is made. Um, I will want to go down to UST. You can see here I have 17,000 in here and I want to send everything across. And then I want to drop my destination address into um, this section. So you would only put the address that I showed you how to get it from your Terra station into this part and then confirm it. So it looks like it'll cost 727. Click confirm. And then this usually takes between like 10 and 15 minutes to arrive. And in the next part of the video, I will show you how to use Anchor Protocol to both uh, make 20% and then also make money by using it as collateral and borrowing money against it. All right, so let's start putting our money into Anchor Protocol so we can start earning interest. So you go to earn and you'll see here that you're gonna earn 19.57%. I currently have nothing in here. So if I click on deposit, I wanna put the amount that I sent over. Actually, let me just put 1700. I'm going to put a less just for gas. And if you notice here that the gas fee is 2.186 UST. I didn't connect my wallet. So let me just do that real quick. All right. Once my wallet is connected, I will put my deposit in. And I'm only going to put 1700 in. Um, and I want to show you in the next 10 days how much that grows. And that's it. Now you have your high yield DeFi savings account. And if you want to go deeper into DeFi, but you're not sure where to get started, check out my course Zero to DeFi, where I will show you everything you need to be up and running and earning passive income in DeFi. And you will soon think, oh, 20%, that's boring. If you like this video, like, subscribe, and I will see you on the Anchor Protocol.